Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be reviewing two new tools that I just got. Well hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Glad you could join me again. And if you're new to the channel, how about hitting that subscribe button so you get notified of all future videos I produce whether they be tool reviews, product reviews, DIY projects, automotive repair, whatever they may be, you know I'm looking out for you guys, so it's going to be good. Anyway, so today we got some new tools here from Chandler Tool. Now, the folks at Chandler Tool reached out to me the other day, and they asked me if I would be interested in reviewing a couple of tools for them. And I said, sure, why not? I look at myself as a beta tester, if you want to call it that. I basically review tools for both the companies and for you guys because the companies benefit because they can see someone completely neutral, someone not associated with them, testing out the products and see how it goes and how they perform and they can modify and change things as needed. You guys get the benefit of seeing a tool that you may not be aware of that it existed or if you are, you get to see it in action first before you put out your hard-earned money. So, I don't know if you're aware of these guys, Chandler Tools, you can reach them at ChandlerTool.com and they have all their tools there. These are just two tools that they sent me and let me point out right off the bat, I am not being paid to do this review. It is completely unpaid, completely unbiased. I'm going to tell you what I think about them. I'm going to put them through some paces and I'm going to see if they're any good or not you guys get to see it along with me. So they did not tell me what to say. My videos are unscripted. I don't even know what I'm going to say until I say it. So we get two tools to do in this video. So you're going to get a twofer. First of all, we have a wood burning kit. Let me separate these out and I'll show them to you individually. All right, the first tool that we're going to look at is a wood burning kit. And this tool has two functions to it because it is a wood burning kit or pyrography kit and it also doubles as a soldering iron so you get two uses out of one tool that's pretty good in my opinion anyway a little bit of information about this this is their CTWB30 it has 30 watts of power it heats up to 600 degrees centigrade or 1112 degrees Fahrenheit it comes with eight brass burning tips, one hot knife, which is back in here, one hot knife with replaceable tip, one steel soldering tip, and it comes with a lifetime warranty. So you have any trouble with this down the road, just contact them and they will replace it for you. The second tool, and we're going to be testing these individually, obviously, the second tool is their CT100. 100 watts of power glue gun and it heats up to 190 degrees Celsius or 374 degrees Fahrenheit. It comes with a built-in stand. It has a no drip mechanism so when you stop squeezing the trigger it should stop dripping. It comes with 10 glue sticks. The glue sticks are the 7 16 diameter which is pretty standard and it also comes with a lifetime warranty. So any trouble at all, you get to return it to them, or they'll send you a new one, whatever the case may be, but you get another tool. So that is pretty good right there. And let me show you down here, in case you're curious, right there, ChandlerTool.com. Go check them out, and check out all the variety of tools that they have. So let's open these up and get a better look at them. get rid of that so you have your instructions and warranty and all that stuff right here you can check that out later you have all the tips right in here let me pull them out for you there you go all the different types of uh, wood burning tips and the steel soldering tip you can see them right there they have a convenient little case to keep them in here is your knife pop that out of there don't cut myself there is your knife and the uh, holder so you can replace the tip on it if you need to we'll put that on the side over here 
And let's see the tool. It's and it comes with a stand, pretty nice. And the tool itself, and it's uh, fairly lightweight, not heavy. Should be easy enough to maneuver when you're doing stuff. It's nice that it has a stop here, so your fingers don't slide off onto the uh, the heated area. It's pretty convenient. The cord is not very heavy, so it's not going to pull you away when you're doing stuff. So far, it's okay. I like it. Now, the test of this that we're going to test in a moment is how quickly does it heat up and does the handle stay cool? Because one of the things about some of these tools is that over time, if you're using it for too long, the handle tends to heat up. So we'll find out about that in just a moment. Put this aside. Let's look at the glue gun. And again, your instructions, warranty, safety instructions, all that kind of good stuff right there. And put that aside. And there we go. That's a nice big trigger there. You can use three fingers or one finger or whatever you like. Uh, let's see, your on-off switch right there, which appears to be lighted. We'll find that out in a moment. And your stand, which is removable. So you can use it with the stand or without, whatever you like to do. Oh. And I forgot, it also comes with your traditional uh, holder right here, stand, uh, stand, whatever you want to call it. So you could pop this in here, Let's pop it in there for now. There you go. So it either folds back when you're not using it, you can see it folds back like that, or it stands out like that. So if you want to, you can put it on the table just like that. And 10 glue sticks right there, that's pretty good. All you do is pop it in there, and obviously when you pull the trigger, it pulls it down. So you can either stand it like that, put this away. Stand it like that if it's convenient for you to do your project that way, or attach the stand, which is pretty cool. There you go. You can stand it that way, give you a sideways view of it. So you can stand it up, and obviously it is clear of whatever you are working on. It's about the height of my hand right there. So it's pretty good, and you can just keep using it, putting it back down, use it, put it back down. You don't need to worry about it. Now this is the CT100, and this is 100 watts of power. If you don't need something this big, they do have a couple of smaller models. I believe they have a CT60 and a CT30 for whatever hobby projects you need to do, whatever the case. You can check out their site, and you can choose the best tool for you. This is um, more for industrial use. But you know what? If you want industrial quality, go for it. Why not? Just because you're doing something on a hobby basis does not mean that you need to go lesser quality. You can go for the best one they have. So we're going to be testing this out in a moment as well. Let's get set up and start testing one of them. Okay, so I got set up here. I put down this hard surface since we're going to be dealing with uh, heated equipment and I don't want to melt my padded workbench here. So hard surface shouldn't have any problem. We have the tool, I unwrapped the cord, and we're going to heat it up and see how it works in doing a couple different things. First of all, I have a couple of different uh, pieces of wood. We're going to try to glue them together, see how it works. And I have a plastic bolt here. Maybe I'll glue it on here and stand it up and see how it works doing that as well. So we'll run through a couple of tests doing this kind of thing. Also, I have a stopwatch here because we're going to see how long does it take to heat this tool up. So I'm going to plug it in right now. And you see it is off, no problem, no power. Plug it in and turn it on. Start the stopwatch and we'll let it heat up and see how long it takes to, uh, you know, be ready to put out the, the glue so you can start doing your project. Because you don't want to have to wait forever for a tool to heat up. So it's on, we'll see how it works. And since it has the no drip uh, functionality to it, I'm going to have to keep pressing the trigger and see when it actually starts putting it out. So. I don't expect it to be immediate, so let's wait and see what it does. And it's ready. There we go. You can see right there, the glue is starting to come out but it has a no drip function so if I clean that off let's see it is still on but let's see you can see that there 
it is still powered up, but it's not dripping. So that's pretty good right there. The glue is still in there, no drips. And it took a minute 23 seconds, let's say a minute and a half. That's not too bad at all. So a minute and a half to heat up and be ready to go. So if you have a project and you want to get going, plug it in. In a minute or so, less than two minutes, you're ready to go. That's pretty good. All right, put that aside. And now it's ready to go. We don't need to time it anymore. You know that as long as you have it standing here, you're good to go. You just squeeze the trigger and you still see it is hot and it is not dripping. It is not dripping out of there, so we're good. So let's, uh, let's glue these guys together. And I'm just going to glue this corner here to see it, how it bonds. And the glue squeezes out pretty well. Put that there, and let's glue you together like that. There we go. Hold it for a moment, and it should do the trick. And there you go. Pretty good. Not bad for a little glue gun. Yeah, like we said, it has a lifetime warranty, so any problem, send it back. Let's try gluing this bolt on top of here. And there you go. There's your project, ready to go. Glue them both together, no problem. And it is bonding pretty darn good. It holds it pretty well. So it's not a bad quality glue. Yeah, it's holding pretty good. So there you go, the glue gun, and still, like you see, still on. It's still lighted, it's still powered, but no dripping. So that's a good thing. I know a lot of these guns, you leave them on, and they just keep dripping, dripping, dripping. you got to start pulling this out of here so that it won't do it anymore. So that's pretty good. I'd say it's a decent gun. I'd recommend it. So let's move on. All right, so let's try out the wood-burning kit pyrography or slash soldering iron. Let's uh, test this out. And the one thing I didn't point out before, I don't know if you noticed, it does have a handy little hanging hook there. So if you need to hang it on something while you're working or something like that and you don't want to put it down, it does come with a stand. So you can always put it down on the stand. But if it's convenient for you in your situation to hang it up, it does have a little hook that you can just hang it up right there like that. So very convenient. And the cord comes out through the hook so it's not in your way. You can still hook it up and the cord won't bother you. So that's pretty nifty. Now the tips here, you see everything that comes with it. The eight wood burning tips, the steel soldering tip, and the cutting knife. And the cutting knife is pretty convenient when you're putting it into a, a hot surface like this. So it's, it's a heated knife. Sometimes it's convenient for cutting through foam or different things. Having it heated up makes it go like a knife through butter. It goes way, way faster and gives you a nice clean cut. So that's the benefit of having the knife. So we're going to do a couple different tests with this one. We're going to do some soldering, see how it performs, and we're going to do some pyrography. So let's get started on that. First thing, let's try some soldering and we'll see how long it takes for this to heat up. So let's try the soldering tip. We'll put that on there first and these screw on. They're not like other ones that have a little screw uh, on here. I mean, it does have a little screw for tightening it up if you need to, but they screw right into place. So just put that on there and it's better to do this kind of stuff while the tool is cool, is cool while it is cold. I shouldn't have to say that, but never try to change tips with your bare hands while the tool is hot, okay? I don't want anybody getting burned out there. That should be common sense, but let me just say it anyway. All right, let's put this baby down here, and we have the stopwatch here ready to go. Put it on here so I don't burn anything. Move you guys over, and we're going to... This one has no switch. Obviously, it just starts working the minute you plug it in. So I'm going to plug it in and hit the stopwatch and see what we can do. So let's go. And to test this one, obviously, well, let me get a couple of wires here while I'm waiting for that. And it gives you a little time to, you know, get a couple of wires. I'm going to just twist these two together. Just do a quick soldering and see how it performs. A couple of wires here. Twist them together. Nothing special, just a test. 
So there we go. They're tied together. We'll put them on the helping hands. It's starting to smoke, so it's getting there. And there we are. Stop you. So it took a minute 30 seconds again. My phone is running out of battery. But there you go. A minute 30 seconds for it to do its thing. So a minute and a half, not too bad. Just kind of like the other one. So now that it's heated up and ready to go, let's test it on here. A little bit of soldering. And there you go. We're all soldered up. It did a decent job. You can see right there, it's all soldered up. And you cannot pull these guys apart. It did a good job. So you have a tool that does two things at once. Soldering and wood burning. Let's move on to the pyrography. Okay, so now let's try some pyrography or wood burning. Now, I'm not an expert at pyrography, so I'm not going to teach you how to do pyrography or wood burning. I'm just going to show you how the tool works. So, I printed out a small little template here. And, you know, modern DIY projects. That's what I decided to go with. And, like I said, this is a simple test for the tool. It is not for me to do some fantastic artistic project or anything. Now normally what you do is, it's better to use a soft wood, not a hard wood like oak or something like that. Something soft, pine or, you know, birch or anything like that, where you don't have really uh, deep grooves or deep veins or anything like that, that to fight with, because that will fight the tool. So the smoother and the softer the wood is, the easier it is to work with. So clean it up, sand it smooth, and, you know, make a uh, 220, 240, 300, something like that would be sufficient. I cleaned up this area right here, as you can see. Just took a little bit of sandpaper, cleaned it up, and normally what you do is you print out something, use some carbon paper or something like that, and transfer it across. But for the life of me, I couldn't find the carbon paper that I have. So what you do in a case like that is take some pencil and put some lead on the back here, and then you will transfer it over onto there. Okay, so it came out not great because I'm not using carbon paper, but uh, carbon paper would have been ideal. It came out rather faint, but it came out. You can see it right there. It's not great, but it doesn't matter. It's only a guideline for tracing with the pen. So now let's try the pen and see how it works. And I've had this plugged in for a while because I wanted to do another part of the testing, which is to see how hot does it get. So I allowed it to cool off. I changed the tip, and I've he been heating it for a little while. And it stays pretty cool. It's comfortable to the touch. Not really a problem. So let's try burning this on here. And we'll see how well we can do. Like I said, I'm not a pro at this. Don't expect something fantastic. I'm testing the tool. I'm using a rather thin tip here. If I used a thicker one, it'd probably be a little bit more. And the longer you hold the pen on there, the deeper and darker it becomes. Oh. 
generally seems to work better if you're pulling on it instead of pushing it because otherwise you're fighting the grain of the wood. So there you go. Uh, there you go. ModernDIYProjects.com Alright, so it did a pretty decent job, I must say. I think it performed very well. It burned it into the wood nicely. And, uh, let's see, let me wipe it off with this. And it's always good to have, like, an old rag or sponge or something around to clean off the carbon if you're doing a big project, because it'll build up on there. So, as you can see on here, it is not coming off. Any residue is off of there. So, that turned out pretty good. I like it. Considering I'm not a pro at this, if I was a pro and I had a lot more practice, it'd probably be a lot better. But the tool did, did a fantastic job. So that's pretty good. Okay, guys, so there you have it. We did the review of the Chandler Tool Hot Glue Gun and Pyrography Wood Burning Slash Soldering Iron Tool. Two tools, very good quality. I have no problem with them whatsoever. They heated up very quickly, so you don't have to be waiting around for them to heat up. They were comfortable in the hand, did not get too hot, did not become uncomfortable. So I see no problem with you guys enjoying these tools if you're really in the market for one of these two. The prices are not bad. Check out ChandlerTool.com so you can get their current prices and whatever deals, discount coupons they may have. Check out my website for more information at ModernDIYProjects.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified of all future videos I produce, whether they be tool reviews, product reviews, DIY projects. You know you're going to love it. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys back here next time. Bye-bye for now.